It's Matthew Lear, the VA, and we're reviewing issue 49 of Sonic IEW. Joe Critter, Hammer Brother, Paper Hammer Brother, Dak Snoop, Snort Unit 99, Camel White, Spirit Guy Bob, and Jeff will be joining me in this review. As we win this banding to being stolen by two evil factions in one issue. Got that right, boss. Brainwashing minions is evil, just like Falfel, that origami Nazi King Ollie, and the Deadly Six of Deadly Lama and Natasha, who should have been punished for her actions. Dax's attitude towards brainwashing aside, we begin with Sonic, Tails, Belle, and her Motobud companion, Motobud. Yes, that is the bad name's name. As he used Akatentos and Gneeps at Sonic Advance 3 as test subjects. Disgusting! Dak, it's rude to interrupt. Sorry, continue. Tails uses the myoelectric hooked up to the Gentle Motobud signal and turns Akatentos and Gneeps from loyal minions to brainwashed servants not fighting for the cause anymore. Starting by not harming Sonic, who impatiently waits behind the curtain. Once Sonic is ready, he tries to goad the Bandings into fighting him, but they can't, they don't do anything because of their brainwashed state. Bell mentions that if they can get this single stick and expand it, they could save all of Eggman Bandings from actually, they're stealing! Sounds familiar? Yep, just like why is my Masters of Mega Man 2 and 3, except this time it's Bandings. Because he and Flame must really not like robot minions having internal servitude to Dr. Eggman and Wiley. Tails tells Bell not to get ahead of herself because of the forest fire and water and electricity running among thinking it's Eggman style, but it's not. Sonic mentions if the extra even started something, he and his friends would question in a heartbeat. He then mentions it's time for lunch and wants tacos rather than his usual favorite food, chili dog. Tails asks Belle if she'll join them for lunch, but she declines wanting to hang out with him. Tails is perplexed that Sonic would have lunch rather than chili dog, but the blueberry mentions he likes other foods. He's going to have a chili dog for dessert. After lunch, Sonic is napping when he hears a strange scratching sound which is Mobo trying to get out of the house. But trying out of the house. When Sonic tries to help by telling him to get the door break, Motobug attempts to scratch and attack him, which is good, but it's not against orders. Strange. Tails tells his hedgehog buddy it's the middle of the night when Bell opens the door and mentions she wants out. When he tries to talk some sense into her, he realizes that she's brainwashed above the purple eye. Bell attempts to attack Tails, but Sonic intercepts her and tells his friend to whip up something that can snap her out of her trance. Bell repeats she wants out, though Sonic declares no one is going anywhere into her situation of resolve. Sonic then tries to attack Belle, proclaiming this has Eggman and Starline written all over it, but Belle turns her head extra style and kicks, forcing him to stop and land on the ground. Sonic asks Tails if he's ready for the solution, while Belle gets a knife from her finger and attempts to stab Sonic, who dodges the attack. Motobud holds him down, while Belle summons various tools from her other fingers while Chen and get out like some zombie. Before Belle could kill Sonic, Tails tackles her in the nick of time uses the Zeddy Zapper to free her from the signal. Afterwards, Tails asks if, her if she's okay, and Belle confirms it. Belle tells Tails and Sonic that the beacon is called All Banding Stake Atropolis, and she will find Eggman to give him a piece of her mind because she's tired of getting yanked around. Tails asks if she got the coordinates to the Banding's location, and Belle tells him it's pretty far south. They later send Motobud Bud to rejoin his former comrades, including the Akatentos and Ganapes they were using to brainwash, and follow the trail. After some miles, Sonic, Tails, and Belle later see a horde of Banding's and Gala with a hover wisp on some citizens. She tries to blast her way through. But Sonic gets them out of the way since they're just following the signal and they even fired one shot at the Bad Nicks while typing. Sonic tells Gal and the other two citizens to set a house until the whole thing blows over. Later, they continue following the Motobud and the Bad Nicks, composed of egg ponds, buzz bugs, motobugs, caterpillars, and crackers, while flies up to find Atropolis' location was a smack dab in the middle. After Tails comes back down and forms Sonic and Bell of what he found, Bell tries to stop Motobud though to alert the Bad Nicks accompanying him. Bell suggests putting the Zeddy Zapper on Motobud. The Tails warns that she'll be brainwashed again. Bell says she can cut Motobud's power without scrapping him, saying she won't let Eggman have him and gets to work. Bell works on cutting Motobud's power while Sonic and Tails are surrounded by egg ponds, crab meats, buzz bombers, and a catacomb. He succeeds, causing a crab meat and an egg pond to stop fighting Sonic and Tails while resuming their walk to Egg Atropolis. Bell later finds a note, which was written by Mr. Tinker, Eggman's amnesia identity. He says that while he does not ask for a rescue, he's proud of the woman she's become. While undergoing memory restoration at Starline's behest, he sticks her inside Motobug, the same Motobug who cut a shrub of Sonic and tells her he'll always love her saying goodbye before the Eggman we all know and love has returned. After Belle cries for some time, she laments that Mr. Tinker is truly gone and how she was stupid to think she could make a difference, just because she was abandoning. Sonic assures her that she already made a difference, though good, through good memories with friends and overcoming hard times. Tails asks her if she wants to go back to the workshop, but Belle says that she wants to go to Agent Tropolis. Sonic tells Belle and Tails and Belle to hang on, because he's going for the last speed on the way to Atropolis, setting the stage for the fate of the Eggman Empire. 
after we see imposter syndrome issue four on May 11th, we don't suffer another delay. Thank you, Snoop. I'll take the restroom here. I give this issue an 8 out of 10 due to the brainwashing of bandings, which is bad, but at least we found what about was created before the extra regained his memories. With only the fourth issue of Imposter Syndrome and issue fifth slowly coming creeping up to greet us, though the cause of trying to brainwash bad in an attempt to change the VA status quo, we can only hope Starline is brought to justice for trying to destroy prosperity as we know it. Because as they say, Maybe this time they'll learn that crime doesn't pay. Been VA Reviews. Thanks so much for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed it. This video is been brought to you by the change petition for the quasi bandings and Sonic Frontiers. Please click the link for this petition in the description and sign it while sharing it with your friends and their friends and so on for more signatures. See ya folks!